Hey guys, what's going on? Absolutely Beast, bringing you a race on uh, the, the uh, Supercar, uh, Rise of the Supercar series in the multiplayer. So this was on Silverstone National, uh, which is the Triangle Silverstone track. I absolutely love this track. This is one of my favorites to race. Um, I said before, but as much as I like the races on like, you know, Nürburgring, Nordschleife, that kind of stuff, you'd only get two laps. Tracks like this, you get seven laps, so you really get a chance to uh, get better at the track. Uh, and it's just really fun. It's just sort of a short, quick track, and uh, this is one of the ones that I like. So um, anyway, I want to talk today about the uh, the uh, the new stuff they added. Um, so it's a, I'm a couple days late, I guess, but um, they have added a few new uh, multiplayer hoppers uh, and also a few new Rivals events. Uh, into the mix uh, with Forza 7, so I want to talk about those briefly. Um, just before I do that, though, um, there is the ongoing uh, Bounty Hunter Rivals event, uh, which uh, is the thing I was talking about the other day in my IndyCar video. So uh, the track, is, the IndyCar, and the track is on Road America, um, and the uh, it's an event where you basically try to best the time of this guy, and his name's Joseph Newgarden. He's actually the uh, IndyCar champion. Uh, from this year, so uh, he was actually the guy that won the championship. Um, and the other day, I was really close to his time. He had like a 46-0, and I was actually really close to beating him, um, which would have gotten me a car. Uh, but I didn't realize I was that close. Otherwise, I would have kept on racing. So I just kind of cut it off at 146.3, and uh, definitely could have eked out another couple of tenths. But um, so yeah, so his current time uh, it says he set his final lap time. So I'm guessing that means he's done, uh, which is a 143.8, which is no joke. I mean, I'm an experienced racer, and I, you know, I didn't spend a ton of time, and I haven't spent, you know, I mean, I spent four, maybe 40 hours playing this game since it came out, um, and I, I, I mean, I couldn't get, I wasn't even within, within, you know, two seconds of that. So anyway, that's pretty crazy. But anyone that beats him, you set a time of any kind, you can get the 2016 uh, Camaro Super Sport. Uh, if those of you who beat him. I'll actually get the 1977 Holden Tirana A9X 4s Edition. Um, just based on the year, uh, I don't want that car. But anyway, that's just me. Um, so they're basically just saying it's an exclusive couple of cars that are only going to be available in future Forza Thon events or, you know, like the specialty vendor. Um, which the specialty vendor is something to check out if you haven't checked that out. Uh, it does change uh, periodically. Um, and uh, the cars are like limited edition cars, so you only can buy... The store itself can only sell so many of the cars, so not all the cars are on sale for all the time, um, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, so as of the writing of this article, um, he did uh, it puts him outside the, right outside the top 200 for this Indy car, um, which is pretty cool. So um, they added the new hoppers and the rivals. Um, it says one of the most common questions we've received since release has been about the frequency and kinds of events that will be added. As you know, we are going to be turning out several new features, uh, Forzathon events, auction house leagues, and then they said there's more information coming soon on those. But um, starting a couple of days ago, they added a couple new Rivals events and multiplayer hoppers. So there's a homologated uh, multi-division racing hopper. There's a new endurance hopper uh, starring the powerful Forza GT division cars, uh, which are, dude, that, I'm so excited for that. Like the Nissan GTR, I believe, is in there. Uh, two class-based events, one for the multiplayer and one Rivals event and gives you a chance to choose from a big variety of vehicles to compete in and more. Just kind of summarizing here. So, um, they said, if, if you're a fan of a particular event, there's no way to show your support and actually play it. And they it says they're always curious as to the kind of events we want to see in the future. So, um, they, they have a link here to the Forza uh, Motorsport 7 discussions forum where you can, um, you know, post a thing. And, man, that's a horrible turn, huh? You post a thing and uh, get going. So, here's one interesting thing. I'm just going to take a side note. So, as much as I've been racing, the one thing that I don't like uh, in the game is that the weather is so dynamic that uh, things like the braking lines don't actually change when you're in the rain. So if you're racing and everything's hunky-dory and you're doing well, then it starts to rain. I'm, I'm still following the braking lines because I rely on those to sort of help me gauge where I need to go, but the braking lines actually don't adapt to the rain. So anytime it starts raining, I'm sure you guys have noticed this if you see my rain videos, and I'm sure it'll continue to be a thing in my rain videos, is that I'm always going deep and off the track in a lot of these corners. And it, it really sucks because I'm not an idiot, but, I, you know, I, I, I kind of rely on the braking lines. You know, that's why I use them uh, is because I, I need a little bit of a guide. I don't need them to tell me exactly how to brake and all that kind of stuff, but I need a little bit of a guide so that I can know kind of generally where I need to be starting to brake. And then I can figure it out from there, but it doesn't, it doesn't change in the rain. And so... 
Like, look at that. Look how deep that is in the corner. I mean, that's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, I get it. Traction's not good in the rain, all that kind of stuff. Totally makes sense to me. I, I understand that, but it's weird. So, um, anyway, so here's the hoppers. Um, there's the Endurance Forza GT. Uh, they, these are homologated GT cars with simulation damage on and triple the lap count. Uh, which is pretty awesome. The Generally, the races for me are about seven minutes. Um, so, you know, I'd, I'd love to do a 20-minute race with full damage. I'm, I'm super excited for that. Um, there's an IndyCar hopper, which is open, real racing, blech, open wheel racing. Uh, there's a multi-division, which is sport GT and historic road racing cars. And this is their first, you know, first... Uh, this is the debut, basically, of the um, multi-division racing uh, online, at least. There's a modern hot hatch ghost. So... Uh, the hot hatch series, but the collisions are turned off, so you can drive right through people, and nobody gets hit, nobody gets bumped off the road or anything. Um, I'm interested. That sort of gives me a glimmer of hope, because even though, you know, that's not as fun to race that way, um, it at least shows me that they understand that there are some issues with the regular collisions, but hopefully they can bring that to some other classes. So, um, and then there's a breakout hopper, uh, which is the A-Class hopper. So it says tune up the car of your choice with an A-Class and then hit the track against players from all over the world. The A-Class, I believe this car is an A-Class, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm super excited for that. Uh, that's a, I'll have to get in there and check that out. So then the Rivals, there's a Rally Heroes division, which is Virginia International Raceway uh, with a Rally Hero car. There's a Vintage Sport Coupe, which is on Prague Full in the Vintage Sport Coupe. There's a Radical RXC spec, uh, which is awesome. I can't wait to do that. It's Road America. And then there's the Breakout, which is a B-Class car. Um, so yeah, um, also there's a small update here on the uh, on the VIP. It says this includes replacing the 5 2 times mob with a new permanent feature that adds a 2 times post race base credit, credit scaler, similar to the Forza 6. Uh, it's going to be part of the next update, which will go live soon. It doesn't give an actual date for that. Um, yeah, so anyway, the, the VIP modes. Uh, if you already have some of those VIP mods, those are not going to go away. Um, otherwise, uh, everything will be updated soon to go back to the original double credit system for VIP. So, um, anyway, I'll link the article in the description. Thank you guys for checking this out. Um, only a couple videos left before I have my new setup, finally set up with a new microphone and, and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for another video, and I will see you guys another time. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it.